Hey, boys and girls. This is the second part for our 3D forms and shading lesson. So last time, in the last video, we learned how to take things from a shape to a form. Now what I want us to do is to talk about shading. Shading is very important because it shows you light from dark. So something I want you to practice with your pencil is go ahead and press back and forth very hard. And then as you come down, I want you to make it lighter and lighter and use less pressure. So that means you're pressing down less and less with your hand. And I want you to try to do this a couple times. So start off nice and dark. And then slowly as you come down, lighter and lighter. And I want you to see just how light you can get your shading. And see if you can actually almost get it to blend into the white of your paper. Now another thing you could do is if you get a little bored of just doing this with a regular pencil, you can actually do the same thing, but with colored pencil. So you can actually take a colored pencil and go ahead and do the same thing. So press nice and firm, and as you come down, get lighter and lighter and lighter pressure. And again, you can do this with any color. And the nice thing is, you don't even have to use color pencil for this. If you want to, you can even do this with a crayon if that's what you have at home. So I'm gonna do it a couple more times. So I'm gonna press nice and firm, not too hard, and as I come down, I'm gonna press lighter and lighter and lighter. And this is really good practice to go from darks to lights, which is gonna help us with our 3D forms next. So what we're gonna do is, now that we've practiced the shading a little bit, we're gonna to go to a different page. I'm using a sketchbook. You don't have to use a sketchbook. You can just use a couple of sheets of white paper. So those first two pages were kind of practiced. Our next part is gonna be us trying to get a nice, good final drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about the forms I know how to draw. So I'm very comfortable with drawing rectangular prisms. So I'm gonna start off with that. And I'm gonna use a regular pencil for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw my rectangular prism as I know how to. And what I want you to do is I want you to try to add another form into this picture. So here's my rectangular prism. And I've got nice crisp edges, nice and cleaned up. Now I'm gonna try to add something else to it. I'm gonna go ahead and actually add a pyramid. And I'm actually gonna do that in the back. So I'm gonna start in the back. I have my triangle, and now I'm going to make that into a pyramid. And this part of my pyramid is covered up because it's behind my rectangular prism. And you could actually add several more if you wanted to. But now let's talk about shading for a second and how shading is going to go into this. I'm going to pretend for a second that I have a sun right here or a light, or a lamp, or whatever. And it's shining light down. So whatever it's touching is gonna to be pretty light, whereas the sides that don't have light are gonna be really dark. So if my rectangular prism and pyramid are sitting on this surface, this side's gonna be dark because it's not getting the light from the sun. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna shade in this side of my rectangular prism darker than say the other sides because it's not gonna receive as much light. I'm gonna clean that up. And the same is gonna be true for this side of my pyramid. 
It's not going to be receiving as much light, so it's going to be darker. And as it comes down, I can make it just a little bit lighter. So it's a little bit darker at the top of the pyramid, and as it comes down, it's a little bit lighter. And there's that. Now, this part of my pyramid might be getting a little bit of light, so I might actually just add a little bit of shadow here, but not too much because there are there is some light coming from this side. And it's kind of tricky because you have to envision how the light would be coming down. That's why I drew these little rays right here to kind of practice that. So I know this part of my rectangular prisms can be fairly light, whereas this side of my prism, my rectangular prism, might be a little more shaded. It might not going to be quite as dark as this one because it might be getting a little tiny bit of light, but it's definitely not going to be too, too bright. And there's my second drawing. Now, what I want you guys to do is you can use this as your practice. And then the next video, I'm going to show you how we're going to put all these different things together, how we're going to put together the forms. So the first page we did together. The shading and everything else. So in the next video, we're going to go from taking this and this and this into one last drawing, okay? So I'll see you guys in a little bit.